Hello there, you wonderful internet people. I'm Stefan, the All In Nerd, back again with a tutorial showing you how to make your own airbrush cleaner and acrylic thinner. Yay! When doing a lot of airbrushing, you'll notice that airbrush cleaner is great. But it's not cheap and the bottles you get aren't that big, which means that you either have to get a lot of it or you have to buy more shortly. And that's why I'm going to show you how to make your own airbrush cleaner from scratch. Both cheap and easy. Let's mix it, shall we? Yeah, I hope it's better at this than mixing drinks. Yeah, or doing laundry. Yeah! <laughs> hey, I heard that. Anyway, it's really easy to make and you get a lot of it compared to the sizes of the bottle when you buy it from the store. And I've been doing some proper research before deciding to do this tutorial. And there's a lot of help to get on the internet. This is what I summed up by watching and reading every single article about it. And you might already have some of the ingredients at home. The rest of it shouldn't be that hard to come by. Let's go through what you need. Firstly, you need some colored windshield washer fluid or some Windex, preferably without ammonia. Then some distilled water. In Sweden we use it for batteries. And some glycerin for some lubrication for the airbrush. And lastly, some IPA. Mmm, did I hear anybody mention Indian Pale Ale? Hey, that's not what I'm talking about, you raging alcoholic. No, what I'm talking about is isopropanol alcohol. It ranges in between 91 to 99.9% .9 pureness. Pureness? Is that a word? And that's the ingredients for the cleaner. To make this a bit easier, I'm gonna use some tools. For mixing it all, I'm gonna use a bottle like this with a long nozzle, which is gonna make the cleaning of the airbrush a lot easier later on. I'm gonna use a funnel and a dropper with milliliter marked on it. And lastly, a positive attitude. Since this is a 250 milliliter bottle, I marked it up in fifths. And we'll start by putting in a 100 milliliter window washer fluid, two fifths. And for the distilled water, another 100 ml. And for the last fifth and 50 milliliter, we're filling with IPA. If you're doing this with 91 instead of 99.9% .9 IPA, I suggest that you mix it with one third of each ingredient instead. But because I'm going with 99.9, .9, I won't need as much. And to top it off, I put in 10 drops of glycerin. Cover the top and give it a good shake. And that's your airbrush cleaner mixed and done. Easy peasy. I do suggest that you only use this cleaner for water-based acrylic paints and inks and so on. If you want to mix up a bigger batch, like one liter, then you'll just multiply the ingredients by four. So it'll be 200 milliliter IPA, 400 milliliter distilled water, 400 milliliter window washer fluid or Windex, and lastly 40 drops of glycerin. Okay, so let's make some thinner as well. And this will work well for most acrylic paints, but it should be avoided when working with Vallejo colors. For this you'll need four ingredients. Distilled water, IPA, 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 isopropanol alcohol, some retarder, and lastly flow improver. Here's a short explanation of what Retarder and Flow Improver do. Flow Improver does exactly what it's called. It improves the flow of the paint through the airbrush and it reduces the surface tension of your paint. And the Retarder slows down the drying process which tries to reduce tip dry and prevents the paint from drying between the airbrush and the piece that you're painting. Mixing time! This is a 200ml bottle that I've divided into thirds. First we fill the two thirds with the distilled water and then the last third will fill with isopropanol alcohol. Make sure it's not completely full since we still have two more ingredients to put in. Next up is your retarder. Use your dropper tool and fill it up with one milliliter. And lastly we'll put in 10 milliliter of flow improver. This is not an exact science, and a small amount, more or less, doesn't make a big difference. And that's your homemade thinner done! Hopefully this tutorial helped you out. 
If you want to help me out, headbutt that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Any questions, leave a comment below. And until next time. Pureness. Pureness? Pureness.